Hello and welcome to the inaugural podcast brought to you by The Game. We've been streaming this podcast all week on The Game's website, thegame.co.uk. We'll be asking the big questions surrounding Preston North End and the sporting world. I'm Tom Maston, with me today two members of The Game's esteemed writing team, Liam Geraghty and Sean Mullen. And we'll be asking whether the Preston North End fans were right to boo Graham Wesley after the Tuesday night's 0 0 draw against Chesterfield. Liam, I believe you back the fans. You've been seeing Preston a few times this year. Uh, what are your initial thoughts? Well, they've uh, they've not scored in a long time, and, they've, and as much as Wesley has tightened up the defence, they haven't conceded in a long time. And after the the days of Phil Brown, where goals rain down on deep um, it, it must be a bit of a shock for the fans. And uh, he's not really he's managed one win. He's not really made the best of impressions, and uh, you can understand the frustration really. Sean Wesley's only been there nine games. Sure, it's a bit early to be. Uh have fans booing him and all this pressure on him. I agree, um, Preston were uh, in very poor form when he took over. Um, he's having to try and uh, come into this group of players and fix things straight away. It's not going to work like that. Um, he has made a very good uh, start with the defence. He's got a solid foundation to his team. The goals will come in time and um, this is a guy who had a very good record at Stevenage and I certainly don't think that uh, sacking another manager now or having him under pressure is going to help at all. I think he just needs a bit of time and patience from the fans. Okay. Uh, Wes has argued that he'd started slow at Stevenage and eventually he's got them promoted two times. Do you not think the fans need a bit more patience, Liam? Well, I think that once you see a performance like Tuesday's game, in which there were two shots um, on target between the two teams, uh, I think it, it shows that maybe they're starting slowly and then there's just producing abject performances and it, it really felt like amongst the supporters and press and uh, everyone really involved on Tuesday uh, that it was rock bottom and they, they were flat and uh, it's hard, difficult to see uh, such a meteoric rise coming after such a low point. Sean, you obviously like Wesley and what he's done. Surely results come before performances though. Otherwise, Preston are going to get dragged into a relegation battle. I agree, you know, um, this isn't the time for attractive football. They're in a, they're in a, a dangerous situation and they need, they need points on the board. Um, I'm sure when Preston came down at the start of the season, they'd have been expecting to be pushing for a title challenge. The reality is that's not happened. This they, this is a time where they need to. Everyone needs to get behind the team and support them because you know things aren't going well at the moment. And um, the most important thing is, as you say, getting points on the board. And if, if they're if not conceding goals, they're not going to drop points. And I'm sure most people would rather see their side take a point from a dull game than play great attacking football but end up losing. Is that something you agree with Liam? Rather have a dull game and a point than play, play in an attacking way but end up with nothing and it could ultimately end up in relegation? Well Preston fans believe that the club has a proud history of playing attractive football and of course history is a big thing at Preston with the first uh, win, first title and the Invincibles and all that sort of thing. So um, I feel that the performance is something that uh, the Preston fans take quite a lot of pride in and while it may not eclipse the result, I feel like it is something that they need as well as good results and if Wesley's not the man to, uh, to provide that and to feel that way then they are entitled to voice their opinion. Um, Wesley was brought in after Phil Brown had a, he obviously went down in the championship and then had a very poor run of results. Um, Wesley has almost continued those results on. He, if anything, they've been slightly worse. Surely the fans should be allowed to voice their frustrations when the, this new manager is brought in, this big hope, new chairman's brought in, a new manager, and it's just not happening. Well, I think to be fair to him, um, you're talking about two managers with completely different reputations. Phil Brown has obviously took part in the Premier League. He's He's managed in the championship, a championship level for many years. Graham Wesley's come in from League Two, having established a very done very good things with Stevenage. You know, this is this is unknown territory to him. He's, I think, he's in a, he's in a, he's in a, he can't win at the moment because uh, he's inherited this group of players that he can't make big changes to. Trans window shut, obviously. Preston don't have, you know, the ability to bring in players now. He can't make big changes, but. He, he has to try and work things out quickly and he's, to be fair to him, he has, he's, he's stabilised the team in a sense that he's got them stronger at the back. They don't, I'm sure, as Liam said, it was a very poor game, uh, their last game, but 
I don't think they were at any point, I think it's been mentioned, that they didn't look like conceding either. So once he's, he's sorted, he's halfway there, essentially. Yeah. He's made the, the positive start that he needs to at the back. And I think that fans sometimes don't appreciate the, all the parts that go into making a football team successful. And you can't have success straight away. He's shown in the past that given time, he can produce great things. And I think we should give him some more time. Sean mentions transfers earlier. Um, although he hasn't had maybe had the time to bring in as many players as he would have liked, he has brought in some players. As someone who's watched those players come into the team, what have you made of those transfers? Uh, well, at the back, the likes of Robertson has done uh, and done very well, and uh, it's but he's only made minor changes. He's brought a lot of players in, but it's not really affected the team in such a state like the captaincy for uh, Andy Proctor. I mean, I, to be honest, I didn't notice Andy Proctor for a, a large amount of time. And if anything, when I have noticed him, it's because he's been missing chances from midfield. Um, so I haven't been impressed with him. And um, he brought in Alex Marrow on loan as well. And it was uh, under mysterious circumstances that he left with rumours that they'd had a bit of a Barney him and Wesley. So uh, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. And while he has improved the defence, with the like, acquisitions of uh, Marrow and uh, Robertson and Nicky Hunt as well, also came in. Um, he, elsewhere, it's not really not really inspired much. Yeah, he brought in those new players, but also he's brought in a few of the youth players. Danny Devine especially has been uh, impressive since uh, since he's been brought into the team. Surely that's a good thing, especially for the future of Preston North End, that West has been able to bring through these younger players. Absolutely, and not only the fact that these young players are coming through, but he's shown that conviction and his own beliefs to bring those through, and it's paid off. That's one of the positive things he's demonstrated. I think Preston fans maybe would have been a bit underwhelmed when Wesley was appointed. He's not a, he's not a big name. He's not someone who who was going to take them up straight away. And I think they've got to look at the bigger picture. They want success now. It's not happening. But these things, I've said the fact, they do take time. He's shown he's planning for the future. He wouldn't be giving these players a chance now if he wasn't you know, determined to be sticking around for the long term. I think you know, he has a vision for this club that he needs to be given time to, uh, to develop. If, if they keep chopping and changing the manager, you're going to end up with... You know, just it's only going to get worse. The, the, the managers need time to mould their squads, and make this team their own, and I think he's starting to do that now by bringing through the younger players and uh, trying to stamp his authority on the team. Yeah. Preston have got some difficult games to end the season this year. How long would you give Wesley if results stayed as they were before you thought maybe he's not the right man for the job? Well. Let's face it, a relegation to League Two, back to League Two, where Preston were in the mid 90s, would be a disaster. You look at the club and how they're hemorrhaging cash now. The fact that Risdale had a, an article in this week's programme talking about the cash losses that are un unsustainable at the club um, to go down would be unthinkable and would leave Preston uh, with a very, very difficult financial climate to face, even more so than now. So, um, in that sense, it's an opportunity cost, really. Do you, but do you stick with Wesley in these big games that he could lose and they could get dragged in at the bottom? Do you stick with Wesley, um, and face um, the pitfalls of League Two, or do you sack Wesley? Uh, admittedly, a large cost, something that they can't stomach at this point, but which is worse? And you've got to say, if if Wesley's not producing results now, it's such a pivotal point in the club's well future, I, arguably then um, he, he may have to go. And the same question to you, Sean. Do Preston stick by Wesley no matter the results this season and maybe build for next year, or should it be time that they maybe look to someone else? I think they. I think looking at someone else now is, would be absurd. They wouldn't have the person coming in, I think, enough time to get settled and move the team in the right direction. I don't think this is something that's gone wrong with the managers because Preston have been on a a downward spiral now for a few years you know we, we used to see in them there was a in time in the not so recent past where they were challenging for the playoffs in the championship and then it just something happened and they've been going down ever since I think that someone needs a, a he needs a proper chance to get it right I don't think Preston will go down I think that they have the 
the experience there. They're getting these players back from injury, Hume and Meller and the play- goal scorers are coming back now. It's only going to boost their chances, if anything. I think Wesley needs this time to, to formulate more of an idea of what his best team is, to, to start getting his best players out there, and I think the results will come. Um, changing now for me would be suicidal because, I mean, they'll have nothing better to work with than what Wesley has now, so I think it's, you need to give him a chance. Okay, well, unfortunately that's all we've got time for today. Uh, this podcast will be watched on thegame.co.uk all week. We're we'll back next week with a new topic of discussion and you can read the game on newsstands every Saturday of our latest Preston North End and Preston Sport News. Goodbye.